So we want to solve this equation. And in order to do that, we have to work from the bottom all the way to the top. So what do I see first? I see 4 plus 1 over 4. So 4 plus 1 over 4, how do I convert this? Basically, 4 is the same as 4 for 1 plus 1 over 4. And when adding fractions, we can't just add them because we need a common denominator, which in this case is 4. So 4 over 1 is equal to what over 4? 1 times 4 is 4, so I could do the same thing, times this by 4. 4 times 4 gives me 16. So 16 over 4 plus 1 over 4. 16 plus 1 is 17 over 4. And then I have this 1 over it. So 1 over 17 over 4, we have to remember this rule of math, where 1 over x over y is just equal to y over x. All you have to do is flip this. So this is actually just equal to, so 17 over 4 just becomes 4 over 17. So rewriting this big expression, that becomes 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 4 over 17. Now I have to evaluate 4 plus 4 over 17. So how do I do that? 4 plus 4 over 17. I need a common denominator again because it's the same as 4 over 1 plus 4 over 17. My common denominator is going to be 17. So in this case, 4 over 1 is equal to what over 17? I multiplied this by 17, so it means I have to multiply the 4 by 17. 4 times 17 is going to give me a total of 68. So this becomes 68 over 17 plus 4 over 17. 68 plus 4 gives me 72 over 17. This entire thing is over 1 again. So remember, anything over 1, we just have to flip it. So this entire expression becomes 1 over 4 plus 17 over 72. That's going to be my final expression, because what's 4 plus 17 over 72? What I'm going to do is rewrite 4 over 1 plus 17 over 72. I need a common denominator again, when in this case, it's going to be 72. So 1 times 72 is 72. 4 times 72 is 288. So 4 over 1, same as 288 over 72, plus 17 over 72 giving me 288 plus 17 is going to give me 305 over 72. This entire thing is over this big one right here. Remember, same rule as before. When you have that, all you have to do is flip it, which finally will give you your answer of 72 over 305.